It's the blacksmith, baby. What's up? Oh, sorry. How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, we good. We good. This is the Rebel P protege. Yeah, how you doing? Know, you know I had to tune in. Mm-hmm. Good to hear you are here, brother. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got some good energies flowing tonight. I can dig it. Yes, indeed. Well, we um, we like to welcome you. We like to hear what you got for sure. Oh, oh, y'all put me on the spot. I called to put y'all on the spot. Yeah, yeah, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got you. Let's see. I'm gonna hit uh, I'm gonna hit you with a new, a newer one I got called the Fork in the Road. Like a couple of you may enjoy this. All right. Lost traction like a ring gear shredded into fragments. The static of an old radio from the 80s beats in my head like a memory to face with every breath I take. The nostalgic look of these cars on my body remind me of my own morality. <laughs> Seems like these years haven't been real nice to me. So I'm going to put my state of mind behind the point of this pen while I move it around and you can read the lines that are written behind it. Because I'm leaving them here for you. Add up the losses to the gains and I'm reminded of the heartache I've endured in this overcoming dark cloud when I stand and hold the weight of this shame. There's no wrong decision, that's how you react to the consequences that give you a name. So as I stare at the near future, I try to find some peace in myself and decipher these victories and the obstacles that I've overcame. Lately, it's been our fight to put these boots on and make an honest person out of these chewed up leftovers that are a target for the blame. These fingers point at me in front of hypocritical faces that keep calling me names. And there's two paths I can choose, but between the alcohol and use of madness, it's hard to see a clear picture of peace and happiness. Guess that's why being alone is the only time I feel like I can be myself and I don't have to worry about everyone else. Call me selfish, but I've given plenty of my hard work and blood to people that can care less. This bare knuckle battle of words and emotions can leave a man stuck in his head with thoughts of bad notions. This fork in the road is staring at me relentlessly, and the pressure of the atmosphere around is suffocating me. It grows stronger with every army. At the bottom of the well, looking up at what appears to be a keyhole, praying for some sun. But I've never been one to throw the towel in and give up. So with an upwards middle finger, I salute you all with a language that's too familiar. Because once I decide which way to walk, I'm taking steps in a direction. Where if you stand in my way, I'll kill you. Sick of this misery that's gotten me trying to believe the happiness they meant for me. And I'm tying these laces tightly in the bows while I stare at this fork in the road in peace. And that's how it's is how you break the mic. <laughs> I, did, I broke it? Can y'all hear me? Broke the mic, man. That shit is smoking. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I just enjoy it, man. I appreciate you guys giving somebody like me a chance to be heard. You know what I'm saying? Man, sure, man. You, you, you did it, man. You, you put it down, brother. I told you once you got here, you was gonna do it, and you did, man. Well, I appreciate the opportunity, man. I really awesome. appreciate it. That's the first time I've really done any of my work to a group of people ever. So. I really appreciate you guys like, giving me the opportunity and creating this place for people like me and, you know, just to listen to, man, because I feed off you guys, man. I feed off everybody's energy when it comes to poetry, and I just appreciate it. I really appreciate it. This is my release, you know. This is what I love to do. It's, it's something I use it as a tool for myself to get through my daily struggles and to be able to share it with other people is just amazing to me. So, thank you. This one, it's serious. <laughs> <laughs>